Okie dokie. Well, hi everybody, and uh, once again, I'm uh, I just finished up my stream here about 15-20 uh, minutes ago, and I'm working on my Final Fantasy 14 blog post. But um, like usual, I'm at a I'm at a point where I need to talk about something on my blog, but um, I don't I don't really want to have to type down this massive wall of text. You know, having to type down all this stuff want to be a lot quicker and easier for me to just make a video about it. So. So yeah, it's gonna save me some time, and I'm I'm in a bit of a rush right now. I'm 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 kind of behind. I I need to get my own you know, blog post taken care of. I need to get it set off and all that. So, um, and I, as well as uh, I still need to get a nap in there too. I gotta work tonight. But anyway, I'm kind of going off subject. Um, but before I continue, like I usually do, I'm gonna be playing some music in the background. Nice low res image. Um, it's gonna be a Nebulon, some journey to outer space. Yeah, Space Voyage to the Unknown. This is a uh, space ambient music. So I didn't plan this album. It was just, um, I got a shuffled playlist and it was just uh, the next in line. So I'm going to get that going. Okay, so uh, let me do something real quick. Okay, so one thing I do want to explain, um, this is a new, uh, this is gonna. This is a new weekend event. Um, it's called Bounty. Now, like I often do on a lot of these other events that I wanna, I wanna talk about or do videos on. These are uh, pretty poorly planned. If I'd have known that I was gonna make a video about this, I probably would have left at least one battle left over. That way, so I can uh, I can do a better demonstration, but. Can do that, so and I don't, I don't really want to spend any more gems. Pretty rare currency to get some more, so and uh, I can't. Uh, in case I didn't show this already, I can't access the battle screen, so that happens. So I guess probably what I'll go ahead and do is just from here. Um, now these. These battles, as you can see here, the points. You get 10 points for level 1, 20 points for level 2, etc. Um, which, okay, but that's the that's the basic. Now, you can, uh, technically, you can go in with any kind of team you choose. But, what you really want to, but what you really want to do, at least ideally, um, I had it down here, yep. What you want to use are troops that have the bounty hunter trait. Um, you'll gain a you'll gain a bonus multiplier to your bounty score, and then based on your ascension, uh, I mean she's mythic. She's at the top. Same with him. But yeah. But again, the higher your ascension, the more um, the greater your multiplier. Now again, ideally. You want all four of your guys to... My mouse, uh, the trackball on my mouse is sticking. But anyway, ideally you want all four of your entire team to be, um, to have the, uh, bounty hunter tree. Yeah, so she's, she's not gonna have 6x. I think she's gonna have 5x. So I guess... Mythic, Mythic, Mythic. So, 6 times 3 is 18 times, I guess 5 would be a 23. So, then you would, um, so you would go here, winning this battle, but again, I can't access it, because, plan better, Joe, but I can't access it, because I don't have any more battles, but you would take 160 here. And then I'll multiply it times like 23x, did I say? So, but, um, what, uh, hang on, I kind of lost my train of thought. Okay, but, um, the last time I did this kind of bounty, um, as controversial as it might sound, um, when, it, when I look at content creators, when I do a little bit of research on this, I mean, everybody just, uh, mad dashes. 
I gotta scroll down again. I mean, everybody mad dashes to have their whole entire team nothing but bounty hunter. Um, I did this the last time. I maybe got halfway in the middle, like halfway there. I tell you what, let me. For all the good this is gonna do me, let me copy it. So, but again, last time, the last time I did a bounty, I got maybe about halfway in, and I just kept getting my butt kicked. So, I mean, Ogres, I think I talked about this during my stream. Um, if someone a Fortress Gate, Fortress Gate, for those that don't know, is an actual troop. So, if someone a Fortress Gate when I die, so if she gets killed and at the level I was doing them, most certainly she will. Then, yeah, she will she'll summon a full blown troop. Which, not, he's okay, I guess. It's a wall. But again, it bit off. Last, but my experience with the last, last time I did this, if it got to that point, he, the battle's pretty much, a, or I should say at that point, the events are pretty much a lost cause. And I just remember too, Again, I don't think I'll be able to access. Yeah, I don't. Again, I can't access it. Hang on. Uh, once again, I kind of lost my train of thought. Like I said, I'm in kind of a hurry here, so. See, but yeah, again, once you get to this point, um. It just, even the, uh, even that fortress wall ain't gonna help, but I think, okay, I just remember what I'll say. I kind of went off track, but again, like I said earlier, technically, you can come in here with any kind of team you want, but to maximize the points, you want to have, um, you want troops that have the bounty hunter trait, but again, last time I did that, I only got maybe about halfway, and then Again, I can't do it here, but um, for these battles, you can um, you can spend additional additional uh, battle signals, and it'll increase your stats for that battle, which is what I ended up having to do. And even then, it just it wasn't much help. So what I took to doing again, if I can find it. So what I took to doing instead, on, uh, on this particular run, I just went ahead and added Mountain Crusher. Um, explodes a bunch of gems and also creates a dust storm, which means more brown gems fall than other colors. And um, you're also, uh, since I'm, I'm gonna be playing as Elementalist, if I can make, make a single three match, I forget the exact name. I don't know why I have Monk in there. I could have the Elementalist class in there. Then I could have the Rock Solid, gain a barrier, which means this guy's. My defense is going to be way better than Ogre's because, once again, so. I think um, there's basically a balance here. On one end, yeah, you want to maximize your points. But if you can't, if, you know, if you're struggling to win the battles, then the points moot. So, once again, what I did this time. Okay, that was my keyboard doing that. It double clicked on me. Or double tapped, I should say. I got a glitchy computer. So what I did instead... Okay. My blade is ready. But yeah. But because... And I was looking at this as well. Explode one random gem boosted by my life. The boost ratio is 10 to 1. And if you look here, she only has 60. 
So, you're only blowing a, you're only a blowing seven gems, and that's it. You're blowing up a, tw you're blowing up up to uh, up to twenty eight brown gems, and again, you you start the battle with a dust storm, and every time you cast this, it's gonna refresh that dust storm. So, ready. so this is what I had for uh for today for today's bounty. I actually got farther than uh, I actually got farther than last time. And plus, I didn't um, I didn't have to worry about my uh, top guy getting killed or anything because he was shielded more often. And now it's an elementalist class, so my opponents are going to be entangled, frozen, and all that other good stuff. Again, maximizing maximizing your body your body points is important, but if you're not winning battles, then the point is moot. So it's um, it's a juggling act. It's a juggling act between max, you know, optimizing your points, but it's also uh, being able to consistently win battles as well. But otherwise, uh, let's see. Oh yeah, I, I'm not gonna change the banner, but I had the um, I think it was the brown and blue banner. I don't really have time. That might have been that one. Brown and blue, so. But. But again, um, to another quickie recap on how Bonnie works. You'll be fighting these battles with increasing difficulty. Um, you'll get a base amount of points, but um, you'll also get a multiplier based on uh, how many troops how many troops in your team have uh, the uh, bounty hunter trait? And then something else I forgot, I totally forgot to mention too. Um, I just now remembered. Um, you, uh, you are also required to have unique troops. Like, I actually tried this. I tried this earlier during my stream. I had three Tagraki warriors, but I didn't get Deadly Squat for a multiplier. I think it was. It was just 6x and that's it. So, each one has to be unique. And then on top of that, I wish I'd remember this sooner. If you have this troop here, this case, or this time be an ax beak, you'll get even more points. But, but it's like I said earlier, you want to maximize your points, but if you're not, or but if you're not winning battles, or if you're really struggling to win battles, the point is moot. I found this ability to be not very impressive. Deal 24 damage to the first enemy, then there's a 20% chance to deal half damage to all enemies. This really needs to be a 100% chance, or it just needs to 24 to the first enemy, half damage to everybody else. Especially when you're doing the high level stuff. So. Deal skull, double skull damage. This basically means I have to have him at the top, which is pretty much not a good idea. So. So, yeah. But. But otherwise, um, that. That's going to do it for me. Um, I hope I explained the event well enough. Huh. But like I said, I'm kind of in a hurry right now. It's 5 p.m. right now. This is normally uh, when I have to get my blog post sent off and then take my nap afterwards. So like I said, I'm running a bit behind. Um, so, yeah. Um, but thanks for, wa thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that. And I'll see you all next time. Hopefully when I'm better prepared.